Welcome to the Purity for Life podcast, episode 154, The Power of Restoration. For more information on this podcast and other great content, visit purityforlife.me. Hey everyone, Frank Honus back with you guys this weekend for another episode of the Purity for Life podcast. Thank you so much for watching and listening on uh, watching on YouTube and listening on iTunes. The Purity for Life podcast is dedicated to helping individuals live lives of sexual integrity through Jesus Christ. And I'm so happy to get to do that every week to be able to share uh, my the lessons that I've learned in my recovery journey over the last seven years and also to share... Um, God's word with you and what God has to say about sexual integrity and sexual purity. So you can check out all the resources, the past podcasts, the archive on purityforlife.me. I want to encourage you to head over there. Purityforlife.me is where you would go. And again, there are links and resources and um, lots of you know video content, articles, um, just lots of great stuff up there on the blog and then there's the podcast section where you can listen to uh, this week's the latest podcast this week or go back to episode one if you wish so it's all up there at purityforlife.me and also a way that you can contact me on there as well um, by going to the the contact section Um, also I don't mention this much but um, haven't mentioned this a lot but there's a section on the website I want to encourage you to go to where it says online protection. We talked last week on the podcast about, um, sorry, I just dropped my pen and just spilled it everywhere. Um, (laughs) This is live. Um, So we talked last week about the, uh, some, I think we talked about eight recovery tools, eight recovery mobile apps that you can download for your phone and help you, uh, to help you on your your journey for sexual purity. Um, So, you know, Go back last week if you missed it and listen to those. But on the top of the website where it says online protection, if you click on there, you can go ahead and check that out. And um, you can that'll link you over to Covenant Eyes, which is a fantastic filtering and accountability software. It'll send you over to the website. You can um, click on that banner. And when you go to the checkout, you can get your first month for free. So if you use the code PURITY15. So I want to encourage you to, to do that as well. So thank you guys again so much for uh, for watching and listening this week. Um, so I-, I wanted to talk this week about an idea and literally kind of had a, a change of a change of pace, a change of uh, direction a couple couple hours ago of what I what I previously wanted to talk about. Um, so in in church this morning, um, my wife and I are a part or to have been attending a sort of a house church and a home church called. You know, I call it a gathering. Uh, we call it the church. It's the church coming together to meet and study God's word and worship, and and you know, reach out to the community. Um, so the um, um, the pastor of this church, uh, who's a friend of ours, um, a close friend of my wife and I's, uh, was talking from the book of Zephaniah, and at the very end, sort of a, of his of his talk. Um, introduced this idea of restoration, and we all kind of began to talk about this idea of restoration, of what restoration is, what does it look like in the life of a believer, and so that word um, really got me thinking um, as, a, as a man of, who, who has, you know, a, who's had a former addiction to pornography, who re- I really feel like I have a story of restoration in my life where God has restored so much in my life, God has restored. Um, God has restored character and integrity in my heart. God has restored credibility in my marriage. God has restored clarity in my mind. Um, there's been so much restoration. My marriage, um, our marriage was was restored in many ways. You know, at the very very beginning of our marriage, it was looking really really bad, and um, God brought me to a place, a rock bottom place, a place of brokenness. And there's just been so much restoration. And so this word really hit a chord with me uh, today as we were kind of talking about it in church. And, you know, I wanted to I, I wanted to talk a little bit about it for just for a few minutes this week on, on the podcast about restoration, about restoration in your life 
as a person of, you know, uh, hopefully as a, as a believer in Jesus, as a son or daughter of, of God, um, you know, and also as a person of sexual purity and sexual integrity. If you're watching or listening to this, then I'm assuming that you care about your heart and you care about sexual purity in your life. And maybe you've struggled with that. Maybe you've had a, an addiction to pornography. Maybe you're currently struggling and addicted to porn or masturbation or fantasy or lust or there's some kind of or maybe you have these attractions to the same sex um maybe you are struggling with with homosexuality or you're struggling with just you know selling your body outright and sleeping around or you know just um whatever it might be but i guess what i want to say to you first and foremost is that god cares about your sexuality and god has the ability and is is completely able to restore your life. And I just want to encourage you that if you are in a place right now where you feel hopeless, I want to just say to you that there is so much hope for your life. That there is hope, that there is there there is so much promise of freedom if you if you choose to walk in it. You have to choose it. It's a choice. But restoration is possible for you. God wants to restore your life. God wants to restore your mind and your heart and your soul back to the way it originally was. And, and, and we're going to kind of just kind of dive into that a little bit, but, but restoration, you know, that word restore sort of implies that, that we're going back to the original, right back. You might even, you know, I think about the word as a kind of a techie geek. I think the word, you know, when I hear the word restore, sometimes I think about my iPhone, you know, you have the ability if something goes wrong on your smartphone or your tablet or whatever to do a hard reset or a hard restore, a factory restoration where it takes your phone from the state that it's in back to the factory settings from when before you even got it out of the box or you can you can power up that phone and it starts brand new. It's just like you never used it ever before. And there's a you know capability to be able to do that. And so. So that's kind of the idea when we talk about restoration, we talk about this kind of this reset, right, of going back to the original design. And and that's really what God is wanting for us. I know for me, I wrote this in my journal that God is making me into the man, and I should I should insert there. God is continually making me into the man that he wants me to be. So when I think about restoration in my life, I think about a process that I am in process, that I am in progress that I am way, way better and way healthier than I was seven years ago. And yet there is so many things, just ask my wife, uh, that I still need to get better on, that I need to uh, uh, more, more, more likely than not heal from and strengthen myself in and become as a man, as a husband, as a father stronger in. And, um, and so I just, you know, uh, God wants to restore those things within me, and he wants to restore your life. And so restoration is possible. Please do not walk away from this podcast today and think that there's no hope for you and and think that, that you're just stuck in this vicious cycle of addiction, of porn, of sex, of just this, this you know, thing you can't break, a free, break free from, that you're just, you're just, you know, sucked into and you've, you've got all this guilt and shame about, um, there is, and the, and there's, believe me, there's so much, and we've talked a lot in the last 153 episodes about the reasons and the underlying reasons, and we'll continue to talk about the why behind porn addiction. You can go back and go through the archives. We, we talk about those things, but today, today's kind of word or message or, you know, thought that I wanted to share with you is that God wants to restore you and God wants to make you into the into the man, into the woman he's called you to be. He wants to do it. And he can do it. But it takes you and I walking in that. It takes you and I making the choice for God to come in to restore. And so when you know, another kind of picture that I get here, you know, maybe you are familiar with with paintings that are rest, restored, you know, an old painting or an old movie you know, or photo, photograph or something like that. When I think about restoration in that way, I think about how an old painting or an old movie is taken and it's, 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 you know, it's worked on and it's colors, it's vibrancy, it's image, the details uh, are, are brought back to, you know, are restored, you know, to complete uh, just beauty. And, and, and the picture that you see before you, the painting, the movie, the, you know, the, the, the photo, whatever it is, it's richer 
than it ever has been before. It looks richer. It's 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 crisp. It's clear. It, you know, it's it's bright. You know, and that's that's the kind of restoration. Not even not even just God bringing you back to, you know, who you were from the beginning of you know uh, before you met Jesus, but God wants to bring you to a place that you've never been before, as far as your 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 understanding of Him, your intimacy with Him, your love for Him, your love for people, and living a life that is honest and open and and he is he's he's able to do it he's totally able to do it and the way uh, one of the byproducts i think of restoration um, is pain and so we have to go through i believe a certain degree of there's a certain degree of, of of pain that comes along with restoration and there's a certain degree of you know of work uh, quite a bit, actually, not just a certain degree, but quite a bit of work that comes along with restoration. And so I, I just want to encourage you, I want to read a, a verse to you that was, was really appropriate that, that you're probably very familiar with. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone, and here's the key word I think, is in, in Christ, I-N, the word in, Therefore, if, I, if anyone is in Christ, it doesn't say if anyone knows about Christ, if anyone has just, you know, kind of, uh, you know, knows the name Jesus, has knowledge about God, you know, um, uh, goes, if anyone who just goes to church, um, if anyone, you know, you get my point here. If anyone, and this is the most direct, uh, influential relationship, I think, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, that is the kind of intimacy that he wants, right? Like this, this, this union, right? If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. He is a new creation. The old has gone. The new has come. So it is promised to us that if we know Jesus and not just know about Jesus, not just call ourselves Christians, not just go to church, okay? If we are in Christ, if we know Jesus, if we spend time with him, if we are intimate with the Spirit of God, Will the old pass away, or will will we be a new creation, knowing that the old is gone and the new has come? That's the kind of restoration God wants to do, and that that scripture. And I should I should you know, and I'm not I'm not adding to scripture here, but I just when I read that, I, I think you know the old is gone, the new has come, and continues to come, right, and continues to be renewed and 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 be um, uh, awakened within us. Um, Lord, awaken us to the things that we deal with, the, to the things that, you know, awaken us to the things that we struggle with. And uh, this is kind of turning, I guess this is turning a little, I'm not trying to preach or anything, but this is turning a little bit more into, um, you know, from what God's word has to say. But but I just want to target and really, because this, you know, this is a podcast that that is devoted to sexual purity, that God cares about your sexuality. God cares about your heart, your mind, and he wants you to know how much he loves you, how much he cares about you, and he wants your whole heart, he wants your whole mind. He doesn't want you to reserve places or or, you know, hide things from him. That is not the way for for intimacy to come. And and I just want to you know, if you if you I don't know why this this group of people is coming to mind right now, but if you are if if you listen to this podcast right now and you're in a relationship with with someone whether you're dating that person or you're you guys are, are planning on getting married or you're married right now and you are dealing and struggling with a, a sexual addiction to something you're you're you know you're hooked on something whether it's pornography whether it's it's masturbation whether it's lust whether it's fantasy whatever the, the, the struggle is whatever the sexual struggle is I, 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 I can't urge you enough to stop this podcast. And go and get honest with that person about your struggle. It's not a popular mindset, even in recovery today. And a lot of recovery uh, approaches that I know about, uh, some different organizations and ministries that discourage a husband to tell his wife about porn, but to go and tell another friend or go to tell, you know. And I'm not saying that's bad because, you know, a lot of everybody's wired differently, and I get that. But your. If you're in a relationship with someone and you are walking closely with that person, and especially if you are married, you need to get honest with that person about what you're dealing with. And if you love 
your life, if you love, if you want to have a, a pure heart and a pure mind and you love that other person, you will stop and get honest with them and get the help that you need. Because you are not just, you know, negatively impacting your own life and you're not just hurting yourself, you're hurting that other person. Even if you haven't told them about it and you think that, well, you know, it's just something I can deal with. Believe me, it's something you can't deal with on your own by yourself. So please be encouraged that restoration is possible. Restoration is possible in your life. God wants to restore you. God wants you to be a whole person. God wants you to be the man or woman that he's called you to be. Remember, we talked about integrity last week. Integrity, the root word of that, of that, uh, the root word of integrity is integer, right? Which means a whole number, not just a fraction. God wants you to be a whole person and God wants to restore your life. And, and he's fully capable to, he's fully able to, if you allow him. So just chew on that this week. Um, if you're in a place of restoration and God is doing that, praise God. That's awesome. Let God continue to restore you. Let God continue to make you new and to bring about things in your life. Believe me, there are things in my life right now that I know that God wants to restore. God wants to make new. God wants to bring me to a place of freedom. God wants to bring me to a place of wholeness in my marriage, as a dad, as a worker. God has helped me to, to find freedom and integrity and, and, and purity, sexual purity over the last seven years. And I continue to, to continue to walk in it, continue to fight for it at times. But, but God hasn't stopped with me and he'll never stop with you. It's a lifelong process. So I thank you guys so much for, for checking this out this week. Um, please, if you have any questions or you want to touch base with me, my, my uh, contact is on purityforlife.me. You can contact me through there. Send me a message or on Facebook or Twitter. Oh, and I forgot the very beginning of the podcast, something I, I, I need to start saying. I haven't said it in about 153 episodes, so I hope I'm not too late. But um, please go on to iTunes and, and rate and review the podcast. Um, if you go on there, search for Purity for Life. There is another Purity for Life out there. Um, it is not, it's not, it's not us, but it's purity for life. My picture on there with purity for life. And then, uh, it's the purity for life podcast and on the iTunes store. And if you go underneath there, please rate and review us, rate and review the podcast. And just let me know how, how, uh, you know, the, you know, the content that you would like to hear that what, 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 what's good, what's not, you know, I love hearing feedback and I would love to know what your thoughts are of this, of this, um, uh, of this podcast. Um, I've really enjoyed doing it, really enjoy continue doing it and sharing my heart with you guys. So have a great week and um, have a blessed week. Have a week of purity. Have a week of restoration in your life. Love you so much. God bless.